Once breakfast is done, there are hours until lunch. Then, when lunch has finished, how do you keep going until dinner? And what about that gap between eating dinner and going to bed? Simple. It's all about the snacking, isn't it? Snacks are what keep us going to get through the day. That's what we tell ourselves anyway. Even nutrition experts recommend one to three snacks per day between three balanced meals. Well, we won't argue with them then. Each country has its own snack variants, but often you will find the same snack in different countries, going by a new name or even its original name. The most popular snack in the world is cookies, followed by chips or crisps, as they are referred to in the UK, and ice cream. There is some disagreement about what constitutes a snack. Should it be healthy in order to quash any hunger pangs? Or purposefully unhealthy to satisfy those sweet, savory, and salty cravings. Whichever way you look at it, it is advised to fulfill those in-between meal cravings so that we don't then overeat during our next meal. Fruit, chopped vegetables, nuts, cereal bars, chocolate, cookies, ice cream, chips, candy, crackers, cake. The list goes on and on. The global snack food market was valued at 557 billion USD in 2021. It increased majorly as a result of the pandemic when people were forced to stay home, leading to comfort eating. Most revenue for snack products is generated in the United States, approximately 108 billion USD in 2022. And 25 percent of the U.S. population admit to being daily snackers, stating that the most vulnerable time is night snacking while lounging on the sofa in front of the TV. The most popular cookie in the world is chocolate chip, usually accompanied by a hot cup of tea or coffee or a glass of cold milk for dunking. Many consumers say that this taste takes them back to their childhood. When it was considered a real treat to enjoy such snacks, Oreos are the best-selling cookie brand in the world and are available in more than 100 countries now. Lay's are the top-selling potato chip in the world, closely followed by Pringles, Doritos, and Cheetos. Cheese and onion is the most popular flavor, with chips still being the most consumed snack in the UK. Around 40% of Brits say they eat crisps at least two or three times a week, not chips. No, no, no. Also, it's soccer, not football. Countries are divided when we get onto the subject of chocolate, though. For example, in the U.S., Reese's peanut butter cups and M&Ms are the biggest sellers. In the U.K., Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Japan, Meiji chocolate. It would seem that when it comes to chocolate, the consumer is patriotic. Global chocolate consumption was approximately 7.5 million tons in 2022, and the market was estimated at around 113 billion USD. That's a lot of chocolate. Nowadays, though, consumers are becoming much more conscious about their snack choices. Low sugar. High-fiber products like fresh fruit and vegetables, unsalted nuts and seeds, low-fat yogurt, and rice crackers are favored among those who are a little more health-conscious. But with its market size valued at around 86 billion USD, not even a fifth of the regular snack market, it is clear that the average consumer still craves comfort food for snacks. Fun fact. Did you know that Hanover, in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania, is known as the snack food capital of the world as it is home to so many food manufacturing companies? What are you in the mood for? I think I'll grab myself a Reese's.